welcome back to my channel Mumbai Car Boy. Uh, today here we are on a very special video. Of course, you've read it in the description, and many of you wanted to know uh, how this setup is done. Yes, I've just started motor vlogging. Initially, I was so used to actually doing voiceovers that you know I missed that connect with most of you watching the videos while I'm riding. So yes, this is a setup for motor vlogging that I've used on uh, my helmet. Yes, I use the SMK helmet mostly for my rides that you see right here. Uh, there are three major components, four actually major components that you will need to have while you're motor vlogging. I'll show them to you right now. The first, of course, you need a GoPro. Um, camera so I have the GoPro 9 that you can see right here so for this you need a mic adapter this is a mic adapter I'll show you an image as well uh, so this is a mic adapter that you would require it is called the C-type on both the sides and it's got a pin for uh, the mic uh, wire or adapter so this is a very very essential uh, TRRS that is uh, 3.5 mm jack that you would require now I have bought this from Rode because I prefer using this. I had bought a local one which was not using but this is the one that I use. I'll leave you a link as well in the description for all the products that I use on this particular vlog. So it makes it easier for you to go ahead and purchase because I have used them and I can guarantee you these are products worth the investment. Then you have the uh, Ulanzi casing that is the housing for uh, the camera that you want to mount onto your helmet, onto your chin mount or your uh, helmet mount, the front mount. So this is basically how it looks. And yes, this is also the link of this as well as in the description. So later I have brought a regular mic that I have wrapped and concealed in my helmet. So the inner liners were removed. You can see the jack hanging right here. So this is the jack of uh, the wire that you can see. The jack that will go into the adapter or the uh, small uh, connector. And the mic is right here, so you can see the mic, uh, the bubble uh, over here, right here on this corner. I'll just show it to you, I'll zoom in and show it to you, so you can see it right here. So this is where the mic is. Of course, I have put a, a electric tape to hold the mic so that I do not breathe into it. So the mic is held right there. Now the major, major setup that you would require is only the uh, four essential things that I show you. So let's now go ahead and connect them and show it to you as well. The first thing that we need is the housing. So we need to put the camera in the housing. So this is very simple. The only thing over here is, I'll leave the housing down, is you would need to open and remove this battery cover. So now do not get worried that, you know, this battery cover is removed. How would you protect it for water or stuff? I'm also going to put you a link on my next video or I would not put a link because I'll make the video later after this. So go ahead and check the next video where I explain to you how you can actually use the GoPro setup with motor blogging in the rains without getting uh, scared of your damaging any of your ports. So go ahead and check the next video as well. So go ahead with this video. So what you need to do now, as you can see, it's all open. You need to actually go ahead and slide this right in. So you have opened the battery uh, section as well, as well as the main mounting section. So slide the camera in. Now trust me, this uh, pro this housing that is made by Olanzi, I was scared first, will it protect water seeping in? But yes, it does protect water seeping in. So you will see a little entry over here, but do not worry, I've used it in the rain, so I'm telling you, you don't need to worry. This cover, the battery cover does, works fine and you don't need to worry about the water entering, seeping in. So this is basically the first setup that you would require uh, for your vlogging. Then what you need to do is, you see a little section right here that you can see through. That is where your adapter will go. So the mic adapter goes right in there. So I'll put it right in there. So that's exactly how it fits in right in there. And then you would just need to connect this little wire to the, the C port to the camera. And that's, you can hear a click and it is, this is how it looks right now. Okay, so post this, what you need to do is, here you have the uh, C port uh, section, 
this section is for you to actually uh, transfer it to your uh, laptop as well the data from this no need of roaming the case you can directly do it to the mtp uh, that is how you connect your gopro to the laptop you can go ahead and do that as well in case you want to know how you do it please leave it in the comment box and i'll be happy to make a video on how you connect your gopro directly to your laptop so it makes much more easy it's much more faster for you to transfer files to your laptop next thing that you need is this little uh, connector so what you can see is there's a hole over here for the mic so you need to go ahead and put it right there so this is a tr R TRRS connector so you don't need to worry about it and then this is where where you go ahead and the female uh, pin that you see for road you go ahead and put in your external mic now the external mic that I'm using is a local mic it's not a branded mic but trust me it works wonders I leave you a link of that mic as well it's cheap but it works wonders you don't need to actually go ahead and buy a road mic for that uh, instance you don't need to buy an expensive levier mic you can use the cheap mics as long as they have good reviews go ahead and purchase it but I'll leave you a link any which ways on the video as well and this is where you will go ahead and connect your camera now let's go ahead and do that so right now we're going at connecting the camera to the major uh, setup that I have uh, the chin setup if you've uh, not gone ahead and seen how you actually get this done with the MC and stuff I'll leave a link on the left hand side you can go ahead and check uh, the setup how this is uh, the setup is done so we have it ready made over here so we just need to go ahead and fix it right here so I'm going to go ahead and mount this correctly over here so I make sure it's tight we're going to do a small demo for you as well and I'll give you a small clip of my previous video that you can see how uh, the clarity of the mic as well is. I have done it so I don't need to actually do it once again but for you guys I'll leave you a small clip of that video and we'll do a small demo video as well right now to show you how the setup feels and how it looks. So it's all fixed right there. So you can see that's the vlogging setup for uh, the helmet it's right there. Now this is what I do is I put it right here so this pin with the mail go the microphone the mic pin goes directly into the road uh, uh, pin or the jack so you make sure it's clicked properly yes what I do to cover up this during the rains I'll show it to you later as well or we can just put electric tape that's the electric black tape or the white tape uh, that you get you just put it around this and make sure that water does not go and damage this I've tried it out that's the reason I'm telling it to you so now let's go ahead and test the vlogging setup right now and we'll also later on in the video we'll also go ahead and put it a uh, small clip of my previous ride that I did with which, which was my first time motor vlogging or my first time going ahead and trying the product so if you want to see the clarity or uh, you know you want to understand how it feels I'll leave you a link again on the previous video I'll leave it to you right up here you can go ahead and have a look as well so it's now time to go ahead and put on the uh, helmet uh, myself and go ahead and give you a small glimpse of how this setup is so let's go ahead and turn the camera on to make sure it is on the right mode this is on the recording mode so let's go ahead and put the camera on i mean the helmet on so if you have your mic right down to your nostrils uh, you know where your mouthpiece is mouth is you will hear a lot of breathing but i did not face that during my ride so yes i'm gonna try, go ahead and test it out this is a test that i'm doing right now for you so hey guys this is uh, mumbai gar boy trying out his vlogging motor vlogging setup i hope you understand this is a very easy setup for you to do as well you don't need to go to a professional to set it up for you just watch this video and understand how you need to do this setup and that's all that is needed for your motor vlogging setup you without the helmet so so you've seen how easy it is uh, to set this motor vlogging setup yes uh, it just took me hardly a few minutes and we're all set but these are the four important components that you would require for this setup please go ahead and uh, check it out in the description you have the links for all those products and of course the accessories that I use so I have a huge list I, I tend to help everyone who asks me what, is the, what are the products you use so it's all there well this is a small I'll, I hope you also seen this small video that I put off my previous ride as well or I have put the link up on the ride go ahead and check it out the clarity for the mic the clarity for the uh, audio as well is beautiful I have had no uh, problems at all 
So this is my setup. This is for you to actually go ahead and explore as well. This is the setup for the GoPro 9 uh, Hero 9. This is Mumbai Car Boy. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment box and I'll be happy to answer them for you. See you on the next ride. Till then, peace out, ride safe.